on YouTube. Rah! So if you're wondering where I did that from, I did it from the rooftop right there. So I got picked up from New Jersey at my brother's house and brought to New York. I didn't even tell you guys why I'm coming to New York, so I'm about to tell you. Remember when I teamed up with Microsoft and Global Citizen and I dressed up as a substitute teacher and I did that video you guys have all been waiting to see? Well, today they are hosting a panel for all the global issues and all the global causes they are going to tackle this year together. And I am premiering my video there. What's up, homie? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I'm in New York City. Thank you, man. So I'm going to be premiering my video there today, as well as being a part of the panel. So I figured I'd take you guys along, show you guys all of it, and then at night go back to New Jersey. So the grind isn't stopping, the hustle is always on, and let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Had to come to Best Buy to buy a battery for my vlog camera, but I just realized this is the same Best Buy that J. Cole and Drake came at when they purchased all of J. Cole's Born Sinner album. Remember when they came in and Drake bought out like all the albums? This was the Best Buy they did it at, so that's pretty dope. I think they were at this register right here. Cause this is summer that our life changed. Hope asked me, is you ready for it? I looked around at all his nice things. Told him, nigga, you already know it. Check out all this snow. Oh. Um, all right, we, we're going to solve this. We're going to solve this. Ugh. Ugh. Currently on my way to my first meeting of the day, and look at this traffic. In better news though, I just got word that LA is being marked as sold out today for the Roman Vespucci tour. That means 1,600 seats and VIP tickets have been sold. That is insane. LA is about to be one of the most hype shows ever. Seattle, Portland, and San Diego, you still have time to get tickets. Your shows are massive venues as well, so you have a tiny little bit more time before they're gone. All right, guys, so I'm at the first meeting before the Microsoft event. I don't want to tell you guys where I'm at, but I will say it is a meeting for a potential documentary film, the one I've been promising you guys since I was born in 1990. So we are having a meeting for it right now, and it's all good. I'm excited for it because they hooked me up with this dope steak sandwich. So anybody who feeds me well, I am happy with. Those are the people on the screen right there. They can see and hear me right now. So hi guys. Hi. The grind guys, the grind's going on. All right guys, so I just finished the meeting. For those of you who don't know what's going on, over two years ago I started this documentary that I wanted to do about my life and the life behind being a YouTuber because everyone always says you have the car, the money, the house, all this stuff. How could you be depressed or how could you be sad? So it was supposed to show the life behind that. Anyways, the network that I was with and the director who I was with filming it dropped the ball completely so the project went out the window but I never gave up on it and it's been on the vision board and because it's been on the vision board and I never gave up on it I just partnered up with one of the biggest production companies out there who wants to do a huge cinematic thing for it and bring it to life so I'm excited it's not official but we had a great first meeting um, so yeah don't give up on something just because it fails the first time I'm not giving up on it and I know it's going to come out and you guys are going to love it whether you're still supporting by the time it comes out or not I'm excited for you guys to see it all right guys so I'm at the Microsoft and Global Citizens event here it is right here so the panel is right there and yeah should be good so Lucy where are you there you are so for those of you who recognize Lucy, Lucy too is his YouTube channel and Lucy is our millennial ambassador um, and we're excited to be working with him. He's here to, I'm um, really close to that camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do, there so I'm just showing, like, there giving them a, a show as to what goes on behind the camera. It's so, so true. Um, so, Pussy's got um, 8 million followers on YouTube. We're excited to be, um, here, have him here tonight, representing the uh, millennials, and here to talk about uh, the Global Bulls, and he's going to show us um, and his followers uh, what we're here to talk about tonight. Cool. So I guess you guys aren't going to see the video that I prepared for you guys to see and sent to my mother for approval before I was you know, going to show it to you guys because of the audio issues. So I'll tell you about it. Basically, I started YouTube in 2011. 
through that, I was reaching a very large audience and targeting a lot of people. So when I was doing my live streams, I would ask people, like, what are your ages? And I found out that they were really young, like starting from 8 years old to 12 years old to 13. So as I sat there talking about how I felt about the latest episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, I asked myself, what do I want to leave them with? Because they were looking up to me. They were looking at me for inspiration and motivation. So I was like, if I continue to dumb them down as much as reality TV already does, then the next generation is not going to be too pleasant. So in order to you know, make it a more pleasant place to live for them, I decided to try something completely crazy and try to take social causes and turn them into videos. So I'm t I'm, instead of doing comedy now, I started something with a bullying experiment where I went onto a college campus and had somebody, um, I was actually the bully, and I beat somebody up as a grown man for not doing my papers just to see what people would do. I just wanted to test the YouTube audience and through that I was realizing that a lot of people were okay with not being dumbed down and they were okay with enlightenment and you know being shown a different side of things. And the coolest thing about that was kids were not coming up to me and saying, like, you know, some of them even teary eyes, these videos are our favorite because it touched us on an emotional level. So now with Global Citizen, it was a way to now take, you know, whatever causes they're, they're working on and now be able to show it creatively to a bunch of kids because, you know, for me to sit there on a YouTube video and say, this is why you should care about global warming. I would fall asleep, you know, so I, I can only imagine what would happen to them. So something we did in this video was we talked about education and the amount of, you know, people around the world and young kids who don't have the privilege of education for the simple necessities of having enough textbooks or having the resources for a normal day's workload. So I came in as a substitute teacher um, to a classroom that we had, um, gotten the opportunity to, I'm not gonna say prank, but just be involved with. And I, would, I went in there like, you know, very loud and very crazy, but my objective was to... And yeah, so through that, it's a way to show the younger generation through the comedy of the videos that I do, you know, to teach them important stuff in a fun and interactive way, which seems to be working. So technology, YouTube, is it can be very powerful and very important if it's used correctly. So I wish you guys got to see it. All right, bro, bro, so I'm currently back in New Jersey. I am exhausted, so I won't be vlogging much right now. So the cat went out the bag about me getting uh, the town home because in my family, there are no secrets. If you tell my dad a secret, he'll tell somebody. If you tell my mom a secret, she'll tell somebody. And my brother. No, I don't tell anybody. I, I heard my brother today while I'm getting ready. Did you guys hear about Yusuf's a town home that he got? You don't tell anybody? Yeah. Baba, who told you this morning? You didn't tell me not to tell them. You told me. I, every day you told me to tell them. There's nothing. Them. And I can't show my mom. She's not wearing her headscarf. There's nothing that can go out in this family without Put it, back on me. it being discussed. Put it back on me. If I watch his vlogs, which I do, and I see something, I ask my parents, did you see what Yusuf did? But if Yusuf comes to me, Thus, wait, but if Yusuf comes to me and says, tells me something in secret, I don't tell anybody that. That's confidential. It's not how it should be. The like, vlog is public for everybody. Yeah. It doesn't, <laughs> but they don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, my mom watches them. If you put them on the vlog, he asked, did you see what Yeah, it's is? totally different. It's totally different. And all I'm saying is there's nothing that can be kept. So the cat's out the bag. The vlog's not a secret. But in the vlog, I did say I didn't want mom and baba to know about it. I didn't see that part. I <laughs> swear to God. Okay, then. I watch clips and clips. And, and then, and the then my brother tells... Uh, my dad about the Super Bowl, which was not a secret. I was gonna tell I him. I said in a good, exciting way. I said, "Oh, did you hear this is going to the Super Bowl? It's awesome." And then. Uh, so what's, what's about the Super Bowl? I was happy for because that. then Baba asked him why I didn't invite Baba, and so Muhammad comes to me and goes, "Oops, sorry, I told them. I didn't know if I should have told them." <laughs> no, after the you're, fact. Yeah, it's okay. You're doing it so <laughs> wrong. That's, that's exactly what happened. No, no. I, it's okay, I, I, I well, well, that way. Uh, yeah. Hi, Salah. Oh You're not going to say hi? Oh my god. Hi. Show me your gloves. Show them your gloves. Hi. But let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Oh a god. fun fact about me being here. Tomorrow, the day you're watching this vlog, it's my dad's birthday. 
He's turning 23. He was 85. <laughs> and it's Muhammad's birthday. Do you want to say how old you're turning? 37. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. So it's crazy because my sister's birthday is on the 15th of January. Seven days later, it's mine on the 22nd. Seven days later, it's my dad and my brother's on the 29th. Okay, since I'm going to say he's 37, I have to admit that I'm 56. 56. <laughs> he said he has to admit that he's 56, so he's 56. Here's Ibrahim and Samina. Okay, he'll tie him up. <laughs> I just threw it in her face. So yeah, my dad's 56, 37. And my mom just said, I just realized we didn't do anything for your birthday. So... We had a huge discussion, by the way, about the house. Um, that I want, that I want to buy in San Diego. But I'll talk to you guys about that after. Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna wind down the night. Oh, you can't even see him anymore by watching Resident Evil with my brother on his huge theater screen, so... That's how we're spending the night. <clears throat> All right, you guys, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna call it a night right here. Thank you so much for coming with me to my family's house. It's gonna be a fun weekend once everybody gets here. So stay tuned. Tomorrow's my brother and dad's birthday. And then the next day I got a surprise for all y'all. So I'll see you then. I'm breathing so heavy. I'm talking so slow because I'm so full. I'm gaining weight again, man. So my stomach is compressing so much stuff that it's causing me to breathe so hard and so heavy. Anyways, I hope you guys like the positive direction I'm taking this year in. I hope you see it. I hope you sense it. I hope you feel the vibe. I hope you feel the grind and you see that like he's doing it and he's doing us proud. Um, every single year at the end of the year, I go into a huge downward spiral. I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know if it's whatever, but it happened again this year, so we just have to be more aware of that when it comes to the end of this year. But as of right now, it's grind season, I'm good, I'm happy. There's a video for you this Sunday, the substitute teacher video, there's a video the week after that, and there's a video a week after that. You know why? Because the grind don't stop. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, those who see with the grind on South of Tuesdays, be in the line, stay roaring. Rah! <laughs>